Welcome to Jesus Calling for December 10th. Make me the focal point of your search for security. This sounds good. Let's look at Isaiah 41.10 and Psalm 139.10. Isaiah 41.10 says, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I just love all those promises, don't you? You guys know I love Psalm 139. I can't start at 10. Let's back up to seven. Bonus verse. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. Just love this Psalm. Make me the focal point of your search for security. In your private thoughts, you are still trying to order your world so it is predictable and feels safe. Not only is this an impossible goal, but it is also counterproductive to spiritual growth. When your private world feels unsteady and you grip my hand for support, you are living in conscious dependence on me. And that's a good thing. Instead of yearning for a problem-free life, rejoice that trouble can highlight your awareness of my presence. In the darkness of adversity, you are able to see more clearly the radiance of my face. Don't we all want to see the radiance of his face? I know I do. Accept the value of problems in this life, considering them pure joy. Remember that you have an eternity of trouble-free living awaiting you in heaven. Oh my goodness, that's so good. I'm reading that last line one more time. Remember, my friends, that you have an eternity of trouble-free living awaiting you in heaven. So this is just so good. And sorry, I'm going to back up to that very beginning thing too, where it says, um, make me the focal point of your search for security. Because how often are people looking for security in other places, right? I think that's why a lot of people get on drugs and, and go into alcohol and things like that, because they're looking for security and comfort somewhere else. But here's the thing, my friend, each one of us in our heart, we have a little J-shaped hole. And that J-shaped hole, guess who can only fill that? Jesus. That's right. That's the answer. Jesus. And so if you're looking for security anywhere else, you're not going to feel satisfied because only Jesus can fill that little J-shaped hole that's in your heart. So today I hope you just turn all your problems over to him. And I love that last line. Remember, we have eternity to have trouble-free living. So just, just trust him in this life. And we're just getting through this life. And this isn't the end. This isn't, this is just like the, the pregame show, really, all this life is. What's coming is what's exciting. So don't lose focus of what's coming. And I hope today you trust Jesus and you have just a more calm and stress-free day trusting him for your future and your every moment of every day today. I love you, my friends, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own Jesus Calling devotional book by going to jesuscalling.com. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for Him today. See you tomorrow.